The first thing I noticed when Seely entered my server to help me with this tutorial is the uncanny, spooky resemblance he has to the official farming simulator dude. Punch me and kick me if I'm wrong, but I think he's a dead ringer. I mean, whoa. Okay, I really don't want you to punch me and kick me, because that will really hurt. Hello everybody and welcome to a guide to animal cleanliness with no mods. With me, EP. And me, Mr. Sealy P. <laughs> That's brilliant, I love that. <laughs> Whether you're just hanging around bored or just need something to do while you're sitting on the toilet, why not join our Discord group, the Simulation Gaming Society. Eustace, let's get on with the video. Oh yes dear. I have a lot of PS4 subscribers and I think it was time to show my PS4 subscribers some love. And what better way to really come back into this is to be with the, the icon, the hero of Farming Simulator on PlayStation, Mr. Sealy P. So very happy to have you and thank you for taking time out of your busy life to uh, join me for this little uh, demonstration. And he is the thank demonstration man. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I seem to have become one. I? Thank you very much for inviting me. It's fantastic. I'm My absolutely pleasure. over the moon to be here. <laughs> we had a delightful conversation off cam, and um, we had a game of poker, a game of dice, and he cleaned me out on both, so I'm broke, so he's going to be treating to biscuits afterwards. <laughs> biscuits and yeah, tea. Biscuits. <laughs> so basically, guys, what we're doing here is we'll take you over to the Le Chicans over here and show you what the little gimmick is here and I discovered this purely by accident um, and those of you that know me you know that these accidents happen quite often uh, so I was I decided I was going to put straw in the mixing wagon and blow the straw in through the mixing wagon for the animals bedding and of course you can do that but in the usual useless farmers uh, fashion I went up to the wrong feeding trigger so I dumped it on the ground so afterwards, I went and I fed the animals. I didn't want to pick it up. I said, the heck with it, I'll do it later. And um, the feed drops in through the straw. And then as time went by, I noticed there was no mess coming back out of the trough because now the straw is blocking that feed from coming back out on the ground. So you will maintain 100% cleanliness the whole time that straw is down. And this is a little bit over the top. You don't need this much, but if you can control the flow then you're better than me. Um, but I have another little trick if you get into uh, a big mess here to clean that up. But you have to make sure that you cover the entire trigger. If you leave a little space open within the trigger, the mess will come out and it'll make a little circle in there and then you've wasted your time. So you make sure that you cover the entire trigger and you can only go, you see this clean border, that's the edge of the trigger, so you can only go to that point. So as long as the entire trigger is covered, you're good to go. So we'd like to demonstrate to you today on how to do this. There's some steps you need to follow before you feed your animals. So you don't want to have feed in the trough when you're doing this. Really quick before we get started. Basically guys, if you make a colossal mess, you can just take your uh, landscaping tool. So we'll push L3 and we'll get over to landscaping. Now you know you can adjust the brush strength and what that does is even in landscaping mode, if you're raising or lowering terrain based on the strength of the brush is how aggressive that will happen. So if you have your brush strength up too high, you'll raise a giant mountain in like two seconds. But if you lower your brush strength, you'll get a more gradual raise and lower and smoothing effect. So basically you want to just come over here and you just smooth around the edges and I've already done it and it's so it's hitting the trigger now but if you had anything outside of that trigger you can just smooth it down see if I can get a little bit there and it would go away and there we go I took some out of the trigger just to show you but um, you can smooth it up around the edges and trim and make it look very really nice you can put down anything the animals don't eat the chickens don't eat um, canola or corn or anything like that. So you can put that down, you can put grass down, but I found it to look odd. So I figured, well, straw is basically, you know, something you'd find around a barnyard. So why not use the straw? <laughs> so it, it works. I think I've had a couple of my subscribers mentioned wood chips. A lot of people have been using wood chips, I think, to do this. Wood chips, wood chips, wood chips. Okay, there that you go. Look our face as well, yeah. That's a good idea. 
So there you go, wood chips, that's another option and it wouldn't look terribly out of place. So I guess we can start by um, putting down the straw. Would you like to uh, spread the straw or level, Mr. Seeley? I will, um, I think I was trying to spread the straw. Oh, okay, we'll good man. Yeah. I figured he was going to chicken out and say, oh, no, no, I'll do the leveling, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about it. <laughs> we might as well start over and maybe repair my chicken mess that I just made. Oh, I did a little bit. I don't want to put too much in. Oh, go ahead. Level it. Make it rain. <laughs> it's, on, it, it's on my tab anyway. <laughs> Beautiful. Right, that should be enough, I think. I think so. Let's see. I'll, first of all, I'll raise this up and I'll just roll over it and see how it looks. So, it does take a little bit of effort, you know, in the beginning. It's going to take you a little bit of time. But once you get it the way you like it, that's it. You can leave it down. And um, I think this is going to be something that's going to serve you very well until the introduction of Seasons Mod. If Seasons Mod ever does wind up... Uh, coming out again, and I think it will, from what I understand. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but when Seasons Mod right? comes out, it's going to kind of nullify this in a way. You would have to then uh, refresh your straw because it's going to disappear over time and rot away. But at least at this point, until Seasons comes, you have something you could just put it down and forget about it, and it'll always be here. Could you just tip it with a bucket? Could you put it in of course. Just with a bucket and yeah. gradually tip it? Absolutely. Seely did a beautiful job uh, patching that up. I mean, I had that straw. That, this was the first trigger I did when I was experimenting, and I had it all over the place. It was a nightmare. That's going to be our test subject. We have two of each animal farm. So we have a control, which we're going to let make a mess, and then we have the test, which is going to be the ones with the straw. So I'm wondering whether or not to try it with the bucket, or just to just want you to go for it with go the... Ahead. Uh, Give it a try. Dump, it all, dump a pile on the ground. I just figured with the bucket, you'd be doing a lot of back and forth. Yes, that is true. And I have one thing I have found so far is that the bucket sizes are way, way smaller. Yeah. So there aren't the bigger buckets that we had on FS17, which is proving, um, yeah, you have to do quite a lot more work with buckets than you did before. And that's kind of one nice perk about PC is you can mod the capacity of the bucket, but you can't go crazy yeah. because you then your tractor won't be able to lift it off the ground. <laughs> that's true, yeah. And I've learned that from experience. Of bucket would be crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or your tractor will go forward and you'll, <laughs> you won't be able to uh, get it back. Is that enough to start leveling? Or yeah. More more? Yeah, that should do it. And sorry, hit the barn. All those you, of you out there that are worried about realism, this is not the video that's going to showcase <laughs> realism. <laughs> I don't know many farmers in real life that would do this, but, you know, this is the land of Eustace, and we know magical things can happen that are not of the ordinary. <laughs> it's a test, and that's the thing I think I'm finding, is things like these little hacks that people can use it's um it's giving people options and yeah. you don't have to use the hack you don't have to use it you can do play the game however you want and i think well that's it but it's good to know yeah. well sometimes you know it, it's 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 fine and dandy and cute when you've only got you know maybe a, a sheep farm with a few sheep or a few cows and you know you can keep on top of it but you have people out there like my friend russell russell whitlock who runs a dairy farm and he's got you know thousands of cows you know whatever the game limits that's what he puts down and that's you're going to spend all your time cleaning up after those animals as soon as you feed them the, there's a pile of mess on the ground yeah. and you may enjoy it for a little bit <laughs> but yeah you start losing productivity and it becomes yeah, a hassle doesn't it but it's a it's a it's an every up to the minute job to keep the cleanliness going at that point because you're so big you know, it's kind of like Mr. Seeley with his YouTube channel. He's having a hard time keeping up now. The man has grown. He's the boss now. I mean, this is incredible what he has accomplished out here. I love watching your videos. And I, I, if any of my subscribers are watching this on my channel, go over and check it out. Watch your stuff because it's just it's amazing. It's like watching a movie every time you watch a video. And that's what I love about your channel. Yeah, and you can look forward to my videos every, you know, once or twice a year. <laughs> 
<laughs> and here I am thinking I was, you know, so clever and crafty, and I didn't realize that people had caught on to this already with the wood chips, so that's great. But I was just like, wow, I said, I bet nobody knows about this. <laughs> I had that chest well, that was way too much. Like, nah, that's couple, fine. That's fine. I think it's because I'm doing it in multiplayer, and you get that tiny little bit of lag between. Which yeah, I'm not used to. Well, that's what that's that's what he's going to say. But he's just like, you know what? The heck with it. It's it's farmer paid for the straw. You know, lay it down. And then after we make a mess, okay, farmer. <laughs> nice yeah, knowing you. I'm off. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so long, sucker. I'm going to nip off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I know how the game works, there, Sealy. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, I did the pigs already, so he's good with that. One thing we did find out is um, I, I, I totally wasted my time doing this with the horses because the horses don't have a cleanliness meter. They don't make a mess, so you don't have to worry about doing it with the horses. All right, so we can come over and do the, the bovine barn. You want me to move that cow tractor out of the way? No, that's all right, be fine. I positioned it to make sure I was in your way. Just to make it as difficult as possible. Yeah, because I mean, if it was too easy, you might find too much pleasure in it, and, you know, what would people be watching for then? <laughs> exactly, yeah. Oh, that was a, that was a nice, nice and even pour. I think yeah, Seeley used to work that? at the pub. He's got that nice, very uninterrupted <laughs> fluid pour technique. That was very good. See, I'm, I'm just as interested in the results of this as anyone else watching because I haven't actually done this on my channel. I had a couple of people mention it and I thought well it, it doesn't, I normally just go up and down and I'll clean the feed troughs but as Eustace was saying the more animals you've got, got the harder this becomes to, to keep track of and maintain and if this is a good way of getting around it why not use it? And you know I kept this a big secret from Sealy. I had the entire map under a black tarp for a week and um I wasn't going to let him in on my clandestine secret, you know, no, you know, I was going to, you know, bite the poison pill that I have lodged in my tooth if he ever found out. I was like, no man shall take my secret. <laughs> and he says, uh, uh, you know, oh, did you know you can do that with wood chips? Well. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> but there we go. So it's not as hard as I made it look. It's very easy to do. And if you have a friend to help you out, um, all the better. Would you like to do the feed, Mr. Seely? Since you're so good at yeah, pouring. Sure. So I'm gonna go park over here. And see, that's another nice thing about bringing a friend in on the server is, you know, you can very politely figure out a way to get them to do all the work. You know, and yeah. uh, you know, I could say, well, I'm providing the video footage and commentary, so I surely I can't be doing the work as well. <laughs> but this is this is console follow me as well. So that's yeah. right. There you go. That's how it works. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> So this is the mixed ration. I chose that because, it, according to Giants, it you know takes care of all the the vitamin needs of the animal. And so this can gonna, pour straight through. Yes. So you'll notice that the feed will still go through the straw. There it goes. Oh, there we go. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it, just, it just didn't come up with the trigger option, which is weird. Normally, that could be multiplayer because I'm not used to playing multiplayer, so it didn't come up with the. It trigger was a little fussy, huh? There but you there you go. So it goes right through the straw, so you don't have to worry. And uh, you can do about half, yeah. Otherwise, we're going to have to make more ration for the other guy over there. I'm just telling you, I don't know. Oh, did you do it all? Yeah. Oh, there we go. You've got pails, haven't you? Yes, we do. We can make more. <laughs> oh, mate, so we'll do, do, do very It'll take us. Did you want to go? And, do you want to go and feed one of the other animals, and I'll just make up another mix of this to put in. No, that's fine. We'll do it together. Sure. So I think it is two hay and one straw, right? Oh, okay. He's on it okay. already. Right. Yeah, I normally do two hay, one straw, one silage is what I normally okay. put in. But then, I'll get again, the, I've, I've had I'll comments get the, people do different mixes, so it just oh. you know. well, Some then, people just do oops. silage and hay and don't put any straw in at all. But I don't you know, know how to do that. In, in real life, the farmer's pad the mix with the straw because it's cheaper. You can do yeah. all hay and silage, but it, it turns to be uh, more expensive. And that's why they pad it with the straw. Oh, okay, that makes and, more uh, sense. And, you know, it's one of the, the small few factoids that I know, so I was just, you know, excited to say it. 
And again, this is why having a friend, this makes making total mix smashing so much faster. That's and right. Why is it on your map? I didn't hit the mixer wagon once on my video on my own channel. I kept crashing into the mixer wagon every time I did this. Well, that's because you'll that's be handed a bill if you put a dent in my mixer wagon. Yeah, that's probably yeah. um, should be more careful. As lovely a gentleman as you are, business is, as Joey Bacigalup would say, hey pal, you know, business is business. <laughs> <laughs> and they do have a lime station here, so we can easily get you dissolved if things go difficult. So, you know, just soak you up in that pile of lime and you're all set. We don't need the leveler anymore, but it'll be a good oh, way to... that's interesting, because What's now that? I've come across here without the straw, the actual um, unload thing has come up straight away. Huh. So if you find that you're doing it with this, and you put straw on the ground, it will still unload, but you just you know, won't necessarily get the actual unload oh, option come up. Oh, so you think it was the straw cover over the trigger because there's straw in the mixed ration? Yeah, possibly, because it's it, this is unloading perfectly, but it came up with the option to unload. Maybe There's another one that didn't come up with the option. Maybe because it, when it's covered, the trigger is a little more obscured. Yeah, possibly. But there Who we knows? go. That's that done. Good. All right. So we've got that done. So now we can go ahead and grab the No uh, Chicon feed. Yeah, we'll split that between the two. <coughs> yeah, I'll make sure I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll let, do you want to do that? If you do that, then I won't. I won't make a mistake. Oh, I'm not worried. But I'll do this one. You could do the next one. <laughs> yeah. Now watch me go on a dumping tangent, and I'll wind up dumping it all in there. That's usually what happens. After you make fun of somebody for doing something, you wind up doing the same thing yourself. All right. So that's all the chickens get. I've noticed that the pigs are very greedy. It's interesting because I've had a few subscribers comment to say oh, the chickens either either aren't eating anything or, or they barely are. anything, whereas the pigs seem to be the opposite. They yeah. seem to devour their food. Yeah, I had when I tested this, I had four pig. I have four pigs, and it took the whole trailer of uh, of uh, feed. Yeah. And I was like, wait a minute, there's only four animals in here. I mean, come on. <laughs> and then next is uh, we'll give the sheep some. Uh, some hay and so the trigger will probably be a little fussy and also because we put down a layer that's a little thick if you guys thin it out a bit just make sure that none of the ground is is exposed because you can have a thin layer but just make sure it's a thin even layer but uh, like I said good luck trying to, to achieve that but <laughs> <laughs> with practice it'll be that's fine. right and see that he, he, he rammed the mixer right into my forehead <clears throat> see that's the thing I, I will say um, to ab about British people is th they're so polite and they speak so eloquently that it, it's almost a pleasure to be in to be insulted by a British person. You know? <laughs> You're quite an idiot, aren't you? Now, <laughs> why? Yes, I am. Thank you. <laughs> I really am. Thank you so much. <laughs> and it's just like you know. Oh, did I did I did I bash your skull? And well, yes, you did. But it's quite all right. I. <laughs> I'll try and do it this time without smashing into Eustace. That would be. Uh... He's going to resist the temptation. <laughs> there we go. Lovely. So they should have something to spill on the ground. And then we have the pigs. And we can skip the horses, unless you want to show people that the horses really don't make a mess. I don't know. But um, um, yeah, there's not really a lot of point, I suppose, is there? Yeah. I, I, was, I was just about to say, actually, how... I know it's not this to sound, it's not at all condescending how impressed I am at how thorough the testing is. The fact you've got pen two of everything laid out, so you've got your control and you've got your tests. It's brilliant. Because well, I probably well, would have only done it with one set of animals and just then... I know. figured, uh, you know, if Seely's coming in here, I better have all my, my accoutrements in, uh, in order here, because, you know, you know, come in here and I'd be like, you know, where's the test? Where's the control? What kind of experiment is this that you're doing? <laughs> I didn't realize I was going to be in such a, you know, a uh, amateur. No, you you gotta uh, you gotta do your research, guys, if you're going to do something like this with him. So just for argument's sake, and because you know, Eustace does upon occasion do some useless things. You know, being that I already set up the horse paddocks and. 
I'll go ahead and pour some of this in here. Just to show you, most certainly, that the horses don't mess. And it's impossible for them to mess because they don't have a cleanliness meter, so. Did you do actual oats or did you do horse feed? Oh, I did horse feed. Yeah. Because I've, I've had, and again, it's in line, because we've had so many glitches and issues leading up to the first update, I had a lot of subscribers telling me they didn't have horse feed in their menu. They didn't have it at all. Huh. They couldn't find it. Which is really strange. That's right? weird. The wine's been in there right from the start, so I don't know. It's a bit novel, that. You know, I noticed this with PC too, is some people will have certain problems that others don't. And yeah. it's weird. It's like mod compatibility issues and just glitches with the game, the copies of the game in general. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's very no, odd. It's very odd. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and speed up time, and then we'll come back to you once the animal's you know, start putting down a proper mess and we'll compare the results and we'll open the menu and I'll show you um, on the menu as well. So we will see you guys back in a bit. We're off for a cup of tea. That's right. Tea and a biscuit. All right, everybody. So we are back and we had a nice long about half hour chit chat while we were waiting for the time to go by and, you know, a little bit more went by than probably should have, but we were having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so here's our results here. So here is the test specimen for the cows with the straw down. And as you can see, there's nothing on the ground here. And I'm going to go into the menu. And as you can see, over on the right side of the screen, under pen information conditions, it says 100% cleanliness. And so we will go over to the other one. And there's our little mess on the ground here. 25% cleanliness. So there you go. So with straw or wood chips down or any other grain or fruit that the animals don't eat, you can cover the ground with it and you will have 100% cleanliness forever. So the horses, obviously, I just wanted to show you that they don't truly make a mess. There you go. Nice and clean. Always will be. So anyway, here's Los Chicons. So here's the one with the mess. And then I'll just, we'll jump over here. Here we are at the clean chickens, and as you see, no mess. All right, so chicken coop one with the black chickens is 23% cleanliness, but the other chicken coop, this one, is 100% cleanliness. Evidence stated. Okay, so here's our test and uh, control for the sheep. So no mess over here. We'll go to the chart. So the sheep pasture is 100% cleanliness, and they've made quite a mess, the sheep. Probably, they've made a bigger mess than the pigs. The pigs aren't living up to their namesake. <laughs> I got a horse named Pickles. Go figure that. <laughs> All right, so here we are, 24% uh, cleanliness on our dirty little sheep pen here. And then the other one is 100% cleanliness. Here we are over at the pigs. And as you see, they've made a little bit of a mess, but um, they're still a bit more classy than our little sheep friends. So 25% um, cleanliness on the pigs. Let's go to the neighbors. And here we are, 100% cleanliness. And they're, they're of course, you know, they always got, even at 17, they gobbled up a lot of corn. And they, they did here as well. Everything is always in the red with the pigs. <laughs> but there you have it, folks. So it's a neat little hack. And if you enjoy feeding and cleaning up after the animals, it's fine if you have a few. But because you can place down numerous pens now and you can have loads of animals in the game you may find as you go along that it's becoming such a chore that you can't do anything else in the game and that's the thing is you want these pigs to be as productive or any animal to be as productive as they can be for you so you can get the resale price that you should be getting all right everybody i'm sorry the video kind of cut off at a funny point there but um you know, we basically accomplished our mission with the experiments and um, we had a little bit of a funny glitch problem when we started in back with the chickens when we started doing the results. He got an alert that said I left the server and I got an alert that said he left the server and it lasted a brief moment and then it came back and we briefly lost audio with each other. And then things seemed to be fine, but I noticed at different points throughout the rest of the video um, I know he was following me around and talking, but it didn't come through in post-editing. Um, his audio was missing at times, and then towards the very end when we were saying our goodbyes, um, his audio was totally gone. So I don't know what happened there, 
but um, I have to apologize for that and a couple of other things. I'm going to have to hook up my Yeti mic to my PlayStation when I do the videos because um, I use the mic from my, uh, my Razer headset and it's not very good quality. And I also forgot to turn the in-game volume down because when I record videos on PC, I can record the game audio and my vocals on two separate tracks. You can't do that on the PlayStation recording. You have to go and adjust the in-game volume. So I'll remember that for next time. And I do sincerely hope that we'll have a next time because I really enjoyed uh, spending time with Mr. Seeley. He's a great guy. Out of the half an hour it took us to record this video, we spent a total of three hours on that server, a little over three hours, and uh, talking off cam and uh, about a multitude of different things. And I gotta tell you, he is a very humble, polite man, a great family man, and he has a wonderful sense of humor and a great personality. And it was my distinct honor and pleasure to do this collaboration with him and uh, definitely have gained a new friend. I'm going to put his link down in the description front and center. If any of you possibly somehow don't know who Sealy P is, you got to click that link, go over and watch his videos. Even if you don't play on PlayStation, no matter what platform, you will get something out of those videos, whether it's his tutorials, his let's plays, whatever he's doing you're going to get some value out of it. Definitely worth the watch. And I've decided from now on, he's going to permanently be in my description in future videos under the friends section. So his link to his channel will always be in all my videos. And I want to just uh, put something out there from myself. I was not asked to do this, but um, he has a large family and I don't know if he has a Patreon or anything like that, but if he does, consider joining his Patreon as a regular um, subscriber member. And if you can't afford that, I mean, you could do it for as little as a dollar a month, but if you can't afford that, make a one-time donation or maybe to his PayPal a one-time donation because I got to tell you, keeping up with the games and the software and the equipment to run on PC is tremendously expensive enough. But let me tell you, buying the games, the latest and greatest, on PlayStation is even more expensive. You figure, I paid about $39 for a farming simulator. On the console, I paid over 100 So the regular game is 60 bucks which is, you know, still, you know, almost double the price. And then I got the season pass. So he drops down a lot of cash. And um, believe me, a vast majority of us, we get nothing back in comparison to what we put out. But we do it because we love it. And he has a genuine, honest to goodness passion for creating these videos and helping people. And that's what I like the most about him because that's what I'm in this for, is I want to entertain people, make them laugh and cry and learn something and I would like to learn something from all of you and he's the same way and I think that's fantastic. So I know this video went on a bit longer than it should but we had such a great time together that um, you know what hey I don't care. Um, we had a, a blast doing this together and um, the tutorial kind of turned out to be a tutorial slash podcast a little bit and a, a few little comedy moments there. <laughs> So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please let me know what you think down in the comment section. And from me, and on behalf of Steely P, until we meet again, my friends, take great care of yourselves, okay? And bye-bye for now. Well, you should know by now whether you can stand me or not, so please consider subscribing by tapping my logo right above the TV screen. Also, don't forget to tap that alert bell so you'll have a warning when I'm at your door. If you really want to be awesome, why not give the video a thumbs up and share it with your friends? You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. Thank you very much, and hope to see you next time. Bye for now.